Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. And today we're going to do a character guide on Zell. So I just realized, so Zell's not like a, a big returning FR or anything like that. He's just a side banner unit that is coming with Machina FR. But I realized I never did a character guide on him for a C90. I think that was back when I wasn't like doing character guides on literally every character that dropped. So um, yeah, let's get a character guide in for Zell because he's... Uh, he's here and he, he he's really unchanged since the C90 anyway, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at him. And then if Zell ever gets an FR in the future, we'll, we'll re-look at him there. Um, so those of you unfamiliar with Zell, he's basically a speedy damage dealer, so he's going to take a lot of turns. His kit is, I guess, somewhat complicated in that... It, it, I'm going to try to simplify it for you, but his attacks all like play off of each other and change constantly, and he steals a lot of turns. He's a very unique character that way, right? So we're going to kind of take a look, look at him and try to explain it. So in this video, we're going to look at his calls, his artifacts, and his spheres. So we'll start with his calls. Um, I would say his calls aren't the craziest. He has a 15 call here. Um, all it's really going to do, it's going to do an attack and max brave up for the caller, and then a defense down on the enemies. That's nothing like too crazy there. Um, <clears throat> the LD call, um, it does do a brave and HP damage up for the caller, which is decent, but it's only 10%. And you'd rather do like a you'd rather do like a party wide HP damage up, right? Like something like a um, uh, what's his what's his face, the guy with the ice and the in the swords and the whatever, yeah, Kurosami. You'd rather do like a Kurosami, man. When there's so many characters in the game, man, it's just like to pull out a name on the spot all the time. Like you'd be, I'm actually pretty impressed with how often I do pull out the right names on the spot, right? Uh, ironically, Zell is always the guy who I forget when I'm referring to Zell. Like I always forget his name. Uh, but yeah, we're talking about him in the character guide, so we won't forget this time, right? So, Zell's Call is nothing that you're really going to want to use or go out of your way to get, right? Um, then, uh, let's look at the Artifacts and Spheres. His Artifacts are pretty basic. You want to go Attack 108 and then a C50 passive, which is Self-Realization Boost 2-star. Um, it just gives him more Brave Damage dealt, right? Now, the reason why they released Zell here with Machina FR is because he works very well with Machina FR. Machina's FR basically wants you to do transform HP attacks, which Zell has a lot of them, and also actually wants you to do turn manipulation attacks. Um, and I, I shouldn't say turn manipulation, but turns that change the turn order, so are attacks that change the turn order. So essentially, attacks that do instant turn rate or high turn rate. And basically, all of Zell's attacks pretty much have high turn rate or instant turn rate. He's very fast, right? So basically, attacks that have abnormal turn rate are what will increase uh, Machina's FR. So Zell is a character that does fit well with Machina's FR. That's why they put him here, right? Okay, uh, so Spheres, he's super basic. He's triple A slot, so you know he's like a, a damage dealer. So really, just do a combination of attack, attack and brave damage, attack and max brave. Uh, anything that he can fulfill the conditions. He does break a lot. He has a lot of like re-break stuff. So if you want to give him ones that involve breaking, you could do that. Uh, so just some examples. Uh, we've got the normal Garland one here. Whenever you break or attack a, a target that's broken, raise attack, <clears throat> and he attacks a lot, so he'll build it up quick. Uh, Yang is an example of a good Max Braven attack one you could do, right? And then um, Gao is just an example of like a Brave Damage one you could do. Uh, just if you have full health, you, you get extra brave damage, right? So these aren't necessarily what I would say best on slot by any means, but these are just options, right? Obviously, the higher you can get the attack max brave combos or attack brave damage combos, uh, those are the type of spheres you want to look at. So just look at your box, see what you have. Uh, there's a lot of options there for our boy Zell. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. And this showcase might take a while because there is a lot of attacks to show. So we're going to hop in. So the thing with this guy is... He's got a 15 and a 35, he's got a transform 15 and 35, and he has a transform HP and Brave Attack Plus. He even has an LD that transforms. So we've got like so many attacks to show on this guy. Uh, I'm not gonna bring a friend here, I think we'll just be fine as is. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, because Zell is a little bit more complex, I'm not necessarily, necessarily gonna talk about optimal attack order and things like that. We are literally just going to go through the attacks so I can kind of explain what's happening and what's going on with this guy, okay? So the first thing is we need to talk about, he has two really important buffs that are going to heavily impact his kit. One buff is called Dual. This Dual buff is a buff that's constantly going to get reapplied and then fall off. Reapplied, fall off. Basically, when he has the Dual buff up, it's going to give him different attacks. When he uses those different attacks, it's going to remove Dual and he's going to go back to the old attacks. So he's a constantly like going back and forth, right? 
He's got another very important buff called Lightspeed Special. And Lightspeed Special is going to come from the LD, and it is a stacking buff. And while Lightspeed Special is active, it locks you out of using his LD. Like, you can't use it. And I don't think you can use calls either. Uh, so it locks you into, like, using his base kit. So you get a little bit locked into a kit. And then when Lightspeed gets to his max stacks, it actually uh, changes his LD into a new attack. And then, every, and then, like, the cycle kind of resets, right? So... This guy's the definition of a damage deal that breaks and attacks a lot and has a lot of transformed attacks. And you can kind of go between like AoE and single target. So as I go through and explain all of these attacks, really what you're thinking of when you're choosing which one is just do you want AoE or do you want single target? Kind of think of it that way and we'll go through it. So let's start with Punch Rush. Now, Punch Rush and Booyah, I'm going to talk about them both at the same time because they're both going to, anytime you press one or the other, they're both going to trigger typically. So the way that both of these attacks work is if your HP is above 50%, which it usually will be, uh, the attack will always trigger the other one. So if I do Booyah and my attack's above 50%, it's going to trigger uh, the other one, is uh, uh, Punch Rush. And if I do Punch Rush and I'm above 50%, it's going to trigger Booyah. So they're going to go back and forth like that, right? The big difference between them is Punch Rush is instant turn and uh, Booyah is just high turn rate. So you're going to guarantee to get it. So Punch Rush is... So let's just use it. Let's use Punch Rush. And so this is instant turn. Okay. So we're going to use that. It's instant turn. And then it's going to trigger Booyah. So we just did the 15 and 35 at the same time. And that's because we are above 50% HP. So Punch Rush, uh, it does the attack free instant turn. Um, and then it gives him the dual buff, which we talked about. So you're going to notice that now... Punch Rush and Booyah change into Burning Rave and Meteor Brush, okay? And so that's what the Booyah buff, or the dual buff does. Then we get a buff called Balaam's Rowdy Punk. And Balaam's Rowdy Punk is a big attack and max brave up for Zell, and then party attack up and max brave up. So pretty good, right? Um, so we've got that. Or sorry, those are different buffs. The Balaam's Rowdy Punk is just attack up and max brave up for Zell, okay? And he does have it at quest start, so not a big deal. Then on Booyah, which was the other attack that we just saw, um, that's actually a lightning elemental attack. Um, <clears throat> and he gets a free ability use and free turn. Yeah, and it, it triggers the punch rush, right? So it's very, very good. And then gets the duel again, and then the Balaam's Rowdy Punk, um, and then physical attack up. So, uh, and it does a defense down. So both of them will trigger defense down. Um, it's just that Booyah will trigger a physical attack up. The big thing is because one will always trigger the other. What you want to look at is, would you rather have the instant turn rate or would you rather have some of the other benefits of Booyah? But they're going to trigger back and forth. So kind of just decide which one you want to use um, based on the situation. Just try them out and see what they do. So then what we have is we've got Burning Rave and Meteor Barrage now, right? So the big thing here with these is just remember Burning Rave is going to be more the AoE attack and Meteor Barrage is going to be more single target. And basically all that these are is they're just bigger versions of the attacks and they just remove the dual buff. So we'll lose it, right? Um, and the dual buff doesn't really get any other stats. It's just there uh, to basically uh, help you get those stronger. Or no, it does have buffs with it. Sorry. It has attack up, brave gains up, crit damage up, brave damage up, and HP damage up. So it does apply a lot of buffs with it. So the whole idea with him is you're a little bit weaker attacks, but you're going to apply dual right away. And then with Duel, he's got a bunch of stat buffs and he does the bigger attack, right? So let's do Burning Rave. So this is the AoE one. Okay. You see his damage though, like, isn't that crazy right now? Um, he's just not the craziest damage dealer, right? So we did that and it removed Duel. So now when he comes back, he'll just revert back to normal. Uh, let's go ahead and we are going to Quick Prayer Cell so we can get him some turns uh, in a row here. Okay. And then we'll just attack through. I guess I could have used uh, Luna Freya's BT effect to make him look a little bit better, but we'll just do it this way. Okay, and then we got Rem up. So then what we're going to do with Rem is we're actually going to cure to get a little bit of brave, brave brave gains here. Okay. Perfect. And then we are going to swap turns into Zell. So we can show him off, and we're going to pull all three of those turns up front. Okay. And then what I think I want to do, oh, we're not quite to the, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Punch Rush now, which is a free, so you can see he gets a free ability use now, which is pretty good. So we're going to do Punch Rush, which is going to be instant turn, or sorry, that free ability use came from Rem. So Rem did the free ability use. Okay, 
So we've got that. Now what we're gonna see is we're gonna have the EX called different beat. Now there is something big here. You typically wanna use different beat while you have dual. If you don't have dual on, like you can use it and you'll get dual back. But if you have dual on when you use it, um, he's gonna get the special, uh, he's gonna get the special HP plus attacks, right? So let's do different beat here. See what kind of damage we get. Okay, yeah, that's not great damage. <laughs> 262 with 158 overflow. Um, and then now we get burning combo and meteor combo, right? So now these are HP plus variant attacks that you can do. Um, and so sure, let's go ahead and do burning combo. Okay, so a single target attack followed by an AoE attack, right? And it's the same thing where burning combo is going to be the more AoE one and meteor combo is going to be the single target one, right? Now we'll have to wait because now they're going to revert back and we lose them again. Um, and then burning combo does a max brave up and a defense down. And then uh, meteor combo, which we'll try to show that's the lightning version and it's more single target. Um, it does max brave up, physical attack up, and then a defense down on the enemies, right? So uh, kind of a lot going on there. So let's go ahead and swap back into Zell. Sure, we'll do that. Okay, now I think it's time to show to LD and kind of explain how that's going to work, right? Uh, what I am going to do here, though, is I am going to punch rush for a free instant turn. I mean, if I got the free skill use, I might as well use it, right? Okay, oh good, and now they're breakable, which is awesome, because now we can go and break them. So what we're going to do here is we are going to use Maximum Duel, uh, which is the LD. Now, Zell has something very unique where you'll notice his LD actually has free skill uses. This is very rare for a character. The reason why Zell has free skill uses on his LD is because when you use it, you're going to get locked out of it. And the whole idea is they want to give you four skill uses of his powered up LD. But in order to do that, you kind of have to start the cycle. So let's go ahead and start the cycle. So let's use Maximum Duel. Let's see what the damage looks like here. Oh shoot, it was a uh, so it was a uh, single target brave damage with with a little bit of splash, right? So now you'll notice that we are locked out of LD. Okay. So what happened with that? So maximum duel, it just did that attack that we saw there. So single target attack with a little bit of splash, but it put the light speed special buff on. So light speed special is one of the really important buffs, and this is the only way to get it is from the use that free LD skill use, right? So it has four stacks max. And it's going to get a stack every time Zell acts. And it's going to get more powerful every time it stacks. So at one to two stacks, he gets a Brave and HP damage up. And then he is guaranteed to unbreak the target before he attacks. And then after he breaks, he gets an instant free turn. So literally anything he does right now will break and he gets a free instant turn. So let's go ahead and try it. Uh, let's do different beat. So this should break. Yep. And then we should get a free turn after that from breaking. Yep. Now, when we're on a free turn, I don't believe he'll be able to spam it back to back unless you interrupt it, but we can try it. So let's try Meteor Combo. We haven't done that one yet. Okay. Yep, so he didn't get it. So we, if we use like the AA or something in between to interrupt it, it would have worked. But yeah, it's just like any typical break uh, free turn character. Like you can do it once and then on the free turn, it won't count and give you another free turn, right? Okay, but right now we're still in the light speed special. So let's see what stacks we're at here. Uh, we're at three stacks now, it looks like. I think, yeah, it's really small, but yeah, I think we're at three stacks right now. So at three stacks, um, it does another Brave and HP damage 10%. And then at four stacks, it's going to allow you to do the, uh, the, the new transformed LD attack, right? So let's just do Punch Rush because it's free and we can just keep going and that'll put Duel back up. Now he also has an AA that will just apply dual. So if you're like in between and you just want to put dual on to get the better attacks, uh, you could do that with the AA, right? So now the LD changes the My Final Heaven and you can see now we're locked out of everything else and we can only use calls or My Final Heaven. So let's go ahead and pop My Final Heaven. So this is like, I think in a, my Should You Pull video, I kind of refer to him as being similar to Terra. And that's kind of what I'm talking about is when you do that little LD phase, you can kind of just spam like a bunch of free turns in the row. And then you can kind of like end with the LD there, right? So let's go ahead and we'll just do this. So my final heaven, let's just talk about that really quick. So it's basically just a big HP attack and that's all it is, right? Like nothing else comes with it. And then that's basically Zell. So I don't think he's like the craziest character by any means. Um, here, I'm kind of sick of these enemies having turns. Let's just do this. 
Okay, and then we are going to, uh, sure, do this. Okay. All right, so that's basically Zell, but I'm going to try to, like, re-summarize it. I think I've kind of showed everything here that needs to be shown. Um, and you can see the LD back to a free turn. So I could just do that for free, but once again, then you're going to kind of go into that getting locked, right? So just remember that the 1535, they will always trigger each other after each other as long as you're above 50% HP. They both are going to apply dual. When you get dual, then your attacks are going to change the burning rate of meteor barrage. Uh, you use one for AOE, one for single target. Uh, you can just cycle through those attacks. Uh, EX, try to use it when you have dual to get your better HP uh, and brave attack plus. Uh, and when you do the LD, you go through that crazy cycle. So anyways, guys, there you go. And then when you're in that LD cycle, you're always going to be breaking and you get free turns on break. So let me know what you guys think of Zell. Um, right now, definitely not the crazy character to go for, but later on when he gets more upgrades, could be a very interesting DPS unit, right? So thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.